Today we briefly examine the three main types of linerless cylinder treatment methods that originated from Germany. The two main reasons to build an aluminum engine block without cast iron or steel liners are heat, conductivity and the cost. Nikosyl is the most durable method, 3 to 10 times more so than cast iron. Nikosyl stands for nickel silicon carbide. Essentially, silicon carbide, which is a type of ceramic, is dissolved in nickel and the solution is coated onto the aluminum cylinder wall directly using electroplating. Then, the ball is honed similar to steel. Nikosyl was originally used by Porsche during the 1970s. It became more popular until the mid-1990s. This was when BMW and Jaguar su suffered broad cylinder ball failures uh, in their V8s coated with Nikosyl. The common explanation is that sulfur content in the fuel formed into sulfuric acid that dissolved the Nikosyl coating. Porsche's air-cooled engines ran hotter and did not suffer the same fate. Today, Nikosyl is no longer used in production cars. This is because coating Nikosyl is labor-intensive and many hazardous chemicals are used. It is only found in racing cars and motorcycles. Nikosyl is a process by Mahler, while Kobenschmidt has uh, Gaunikal, which is similar. Alusyl is a cheap alternative to Nikosyl. In fact, it was the cheapest way to build an engine block when it became popular across Germany. It is a hyper-eutactic aluminum silicon alloy, which means that the silicon content of the alloy is higher than the eutactic 12.5%, reaching 17%. After the engine block is die-cast at low pressure, the silicon particles on the ball surface are exposed by etching away the aluminum. The resulting silicon particles varying in size from 20 to 70 micrometers. The ball is not honed like Nikosyl or in conventional engines. Importantly, Alusyl requires the piston skirts to be coated with iron. The Alusyl method was first used in 1971 in the Chevrolet Meth Vega. Uh, Vega. A Porsche started using Alusyl with its original M28 V8 back in the 1970s. Mercedes started using it with the uh, 5.6 liter M117 uh, V8 in 1978. In the, 19, in the 1980s, BMW started doing so with the M70 V12 and a decade later, Audi with the 4.2 liter 40 valve V8, not the, the earlier 32 valve variant. Almost every 6, 8, 10 and 12 cylinder engines made in Germany, except the few very recent V6 and V8 models, used Alusyl. Unfortunately, Alusyl is not durable. It wears twice as fast as cast iron. The main reason is that the silicon particles actually fall off over time. It is the main culprit for premature engine wear in German cars, with oil consumption being an early sign. Also unfortunate is the fact that Alusu blocks cannot be restored. There are only two possible repair options, to sleeve it or to coat it with Nikasu. Since almost nobody coats Nikasu, the only realistic choice is to add steel liners. This is a very expensive repair and it is very difficult to do correctly. Locasil is an even cheaper alternative to Alusu. In this casting, only a preform with silicon particles ranging from 30 to 70 micrometers uh, suspend in resin is used in where the cylinders would go in the form. The block is cast using high pressure die casting. The molten hippo eutactic aluminum burns off the resin and forms hyper eutactic alloy in these areas. It is not only cheaper but also easier to manufacture at scale 
thanks to high pressure casting uh, than Alucil. And surprisingly, the resulting engine block is exceptionally prone to scoring. This process was used only by Porsche in its M96 flat six engine, though Outbound and Silitec are very similar processes. Speaking of Silitec, since Alusil and Locasil are both trademarked processes of Coben Schmidt, Mercedes used Alusil up to uh, the uh, M112 and uh, M113. With the M137 V12, it started using its own Silitec processes to produce Alusil and later Locasil copies. These Silitec engines are the crown jewels of cil uh, cylinder ball scoring. While it is unclear how they differ from Coben Schmidt's processes, it does not take a genius to see that there must be material differences that led to such high early failure rates. Two potential causes are the distribution of exposed silicon particles and the way the surface is etched. Today, more and more linerless aluminum blocks use simple iron coating, which has proved to be at least better than Locasil in durability.